Okay, now we're moving on to the section above the section that we just cut. So we'll be working through the occipital area. Again, we're going to be taking a guide through the middle and we're going to be connecting this guide to the hair that we previously cut underneath. For this part of the haircut, I'm going to be using the standard blade on a feather razor, which is going to be very similar in texture to the underneath hair, but I don't have the restrictions of working in a tight area, so it's easier for me to use a longer handle. So picking this section up, I can see our guide underneath of where we want to work to. I just have to figure out where we want to work from. So again, combing through the hair, getting lots of tension, finding out where our section underneath is and where we want to be on top. Again, there's no hard and fast rule with this. We want to make sure that we're connecting everything for sure, but we also want a very good result. So we don't want any extra pieces hanging out, any weird long hairs, we want consistency of section. Always after we cut our guideline, we're going to look to see where that section is falling. To see if we need to change that, to change the angle, or to see where our length is at right now. The length that we've created here at the top of this section is going to translate to the length through the top of the haircut. And that's how we're going to remain a consistent length all the way through, and the shape is going to go around the head consistently. Like I said before, you have to have that foundation and we're all going to start from that point and work through. Now moving on to the next section, we're going to be doing as we previously did on the nape area. We're going to be working from our guide and working around the head. Like I said before, we need to consistently use our body angle to where we're cutting. We don't want to over direct hair. We're not trying to build up weight anywhere. We're trying to keep consistency of length throughout the haircut. Now we're not actually going through and texturing the interior part of this haircut at the moment. We're just dealing with the length. So we don't have to worry about cutting up halfway through the hair shaft or anything like that. We don't have to worry about those issues. Just making sure that we have a nice constant flow throughout the haircut. Working that guideline all around the head. Keep this hair out of the way pick this up and use our previous guide. This is going to be a short, easy haircut for Allison to take care of. And I'm sure that's why so many of our Hollywood starlets are using the same haircut right now. Low maintenance. Okay, our last section on this side, which is going to be right behind the ear. Again, following our guide from all the previous sections, keeping the hair very soft, very textured. Picking up any pieces that don't get cut and recutting them. Okay, now we're going to be using our guide from the center to work around the rest of the haircut on the other side. Now we're moving on to the other side. We're picking up our guide from the beginning, the central guide, which I can see in the hair, and I want to replicate that to join the top section to the section underneath. Sometimes, like just then, we can't hold all of the hair at the same time, so we have to go back through and pick it up again. But no big deal. Better to cut it twice and get a good result. Moving our sections around the head, Again, keeping that body position consistent, move around the head with your sections. If you don't do that, you're going to be over-directing the hair. In this haircut, like I said earlier, we don't want any over-direction at this point. We're just keeping consistency and soft texture all the way around. Again, working our sections, continuing to the outside. Pick up our hair, look for our guide. Making sure that we have a good connection underneath between the two. Continuing onto the outside, the last couple of sections. Looking for a guide, matching it, 
and joining the two sections together. If you find this is difficult, you can of course split these sections. You don't have to do one and two sections, you could do one, two and three. But I've got huge hands and I know not a lot of people have hands like I do, so I try to do what works best for me. But everybody finds different techniques to make it easier for themselves. Okay, the last couple of hairs, just to make sure we have a nice soft line. Again, not too worried about the perimeter at this point because we're going to go through with a detailing technique, either with our shears or with a razor, depending what I feel works best at the time, after we've finished the majority of the haircut. Next, we're going to be moving onto the sides in a vertical sectioning pattern and continue this guideline forward on either side. <laughs> 